So let we're so... going to take a look at we're going to take a look at Grace Randall's review, and we're just going to start and stop it and have a laugh because it is it, it's everything oh. wrong. It's everything wrong with it's the perfect example of this. This fifty four percent that 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 that's what it says to me. It's the perfect example of that. So are we ready, ladies and gents? Just yes. just turn your volume down a little bit. <laughs> I turned it down a little in. bit, but I can't help it with the shrill. I, I haven't yeah, seen this yet, so it should, uh, this should be entertaining. Yeah, well, I I tried to I I I said to culture him not to watch it, and I Tom, you haven't watched it either of you, I don't think. No, but I know some of the highlights already because they've made their way right. onto Twitter. But Oh, uh, you ain't seen nothing yet. In its in its full context, it's amazing. Oh, I it's, can imagine with her ass. Oh goodness me, this movie's offensive. Did you know? It's offensive. Yeah, Ooh. this is what I was referring to earlier. We'll get into this. Su- yeah. Super Mario Brothers is offensive. So, That's so what she again, says in this? Mate, yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh my so so if you want to join in on this one, guys, Super Chats. This is going to be gold. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Tell me when to pause, I guess. So yep. wow. I'm kind of shocked at how bad this movie is. Universal knows, though. Universal knows, which is why the embargo is lifting mere hours before the movie premieres. I don't think this is going to make a billion. I think it might still have a big opening weekend. I don't even know if it's going to make it to Friday. I think word of mouth on this is going to be toxic. Whatever. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Toxic. It's going to be toxic, ladies and gents. Just what scroll down to her made? first comment. Scroll, <laughs> scroll down to her first comment, her pinned okay, comment on her own on. video. Fuck me. Hang oh, on. my God. <laughs> oh, look at look oh. this. There's the desperate cope. What does it say? What's her pinned comment say again? I. <laughs> the movie is currently a rotten on Rotten Tomatoes with 51%, <sighs> so it's just not me. There's not just me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely is. Uh, well, like Coolio, amongst Coolio the, critic, is just, amongst the like, critics, maybe. Which is exactly. proof of why critics are ever so increasingly becoming out of touch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 100%. She, she, thinks, she thinks this movie won't even make it a Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Good Lord. I had a, had a 20, 26 million Wednesday opening just domestic. She's insane. <laughs> this is why I don't watch you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Most Illumination movies have bad RT and then A minus A plus on Cinema Score. It will probably open and make 300. Plus. Oh, it's going to do much more than that, my friend. And, it, and, and oh, here's Matt, the thing. Steven's got a comment on there as well, apparently. Here's the thing. Oh, on, Wednesday, it, it, on Wednesday, it only opened in 4,000 theaters domestically, right? <laughs> it's not even on its full. It's not even as fully wide as it's going to be. This chick is banana crazy, man. She's got. Mate. Honestly. Oh. All right. right let's, let's get um, back into yeah, her bullshit. Again. <sighs> this goes on for a while. Talks Jesus. Who there is a Nintendo world that destroys stuff that it touches. So let me let me walk you through this, right? Because I know a lot of you aren't going to believe me, but I think you're going to be seeing a lot of bad reviews drop right now. And uh, yeah, it's unfortunately true. Now, as I've mentioned before when discussing this movie, I don't play Nintendo games, right? Like I know I know who the characters are, well, like the big ones, but I'm certainly Mario. not a Nintendo fan. Uh, but you know, just like I say, movies shouldn't require homework. This should be accessible to a non Nintendo fan, especially if it wants to make a billion (laughs) dollars. But you know, I do love Illumination movies. I watch The Grinch every year. I love Illumination films. I think they're fantastic. And the trailers for this have been- Well, right there's your problem. That's like the worst Illumination film ever. Was the Grinch. It's also, one of the old, it's also one of the oldest as well. You're it's a, the you're only one I've ever shut off of theirs. God. And I oh, liked the, the Lorax and right, Horton. Yeah. Horton and Lorax were okay, but the yeah. Grinch one I shut off after about 10 minutes. I'm like, this it's is... Am- it's amazing that she actually thinks there's going to be a whole lot of... The, the, the thing she references is the... Um, so she references the embargo. There's nothing to embargo. That's why it was only a day before you dunce well, this is literally nothing to embargo it's nothing to spoil you bell end but she's also she's yeah. also lacking context in that because originally this was going to only release early in china they mm. moved the date in the in domestically and globally to the fifth to all align because before that is we true. Really did for for two days after we're, we weren't going to get it until today or i guess late yeah. tonight. so this is so she's she's very this is disingenuous lacking context kind of a thing yeah yeah because it was going to be friday for me in the uk and then they bumped it up 
yep. to uh, Wednesday for the whole Easter weekend because they're confident in it. Yes. Obviously. Anyway, let's... Uh, I think $26 million dollars in preview screenings is pretty damn good. <laughs> been very bright and fun. Plus, I've been really getting into Universal Studios Super Nintendo World. Like, I haven't had a chance to go there, but I've watched all the videos. How you get I into like it then? There. It, 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 it looks like a good it, time. So I'm like, you know, this seems pause. fun. You know, everybody's so excited pause. for... This is the definition of like, oh, that's cool. This is popular. I like this thing too. No, you don't, you utter dunce. I like current <laughs> thing. I like current thing. I've seen pictures of this and videos. I'm going to want to go there. Yeah, he, this is a big problem that I find with her. She lacks she 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 lacks credibility on so many things because she she's not a fan of it. She's not been involved in it. She's, she's not, not a fan of anything. Team. She's never but a she fan of anything. She she said beginning the video with I never played any except of for Marvel. Game. She'll yeah. suck Marvel's dick all day long. But I'm just oh yeah oh yeah. She again. This is like why are people listening to her anymore? Right? I mean, I unsubscribe from her like almost immediately because I'm like I can't take. I've never voice. taken her seriously, dude. I, I, I have. I have no idea. And th we'll get to this because she talks about her press screening, her press screening experience. So, so ladies, just as an FYI, ladies and gents, I still get invites to press screenings. So I, I was actually doing uh, a stream. I think it was like two weeks ago. I was invited to the UK premiere red carpet event, Leicester Square of Dungeons and Dragons. I just sent someone else because I couldn't get there in time. I've got this commitment anyway. I still get invited to these things, but it's not actually important. And do you know why it's not important and why you should never pay attention to people that really, and I mean really, hold it of high importance? Because they think it gives them relevancy. Being able to watch a movie two days before everyone else. It gives you no relevancy at all. And I've checked out like my views of a movie that I've reviewed before its release and a movie I've reviewed on its day of release. There's no fucking difference. There literally makes no difference at all. Your relevancy and your legitimacy is given to you by your audience. If your audience and you align, that's your legitimacy. That's your relevancy. But these people, her included especially... And, and everyone that she's talking about with her press screening, they hold themselves above everyone else. And, and they think that that is what gives them the legitimacy. The studio gives them the legitimacy. It's not. It's you guys, the audience. Anyway, so I just had to say that. No, it's, it's true. totally correct. Yeah, not wrong. No, and that's part of what makes her the access media, right? So, yeah. 100% access Super media. Nintendo. Yeah. So, but right. well, you better get into this before we, we haven't even been yeah, in yeah, the yeah. world this for thing. this movie, right? And who doesn't love a party? I'm like, I want to be in here too, everybody. Move over. So I was very excited for my press screening. I was like, oh boy. So there were about 40 of us in the basement of AMC Lincoln Square. And they gave us free snacks. Yummy. And it was very nice. I had a great seat. Wasn't too crowded. I had like my space. I was set. I was like, oh boy. But then the movie started. And again, out of like 40 of us critics, it was a critics only screening. The all media is tonight. It was a critics only screening. And I would say out of 40, maybe two people were enjoying and laughing at the movie. They were having a good time though. Maybe you're one of those two. But the rest of us just sat there in stony silence, just waiting for the movie to end. You were like, oh, whew. I mean, I also was not only not enjoying it, but I was shocked that I couldn't get into the movie. I was like, how is this this bad? I haven't had this hard a time watching a movie since DC Super Pets. That both I would describe both of these movies. Okay, I actually didn't hate that movie either. Yeah, that I was not as bad as some people said it was. Well, she's talking. She's like, "Oh, there's forty people, and only two people like the movie. Maybe you'll be those two. Well, I, I, I tell you what, it goes to show, doesn't it? If, if you're looking at the, the Rotten Tomato score, you got fifty four percent of critics, ninety six percent, you know, or, or audience rating. It's it goes to show that actually. The two percent is 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 the majority, you know, in terms of the audience. Say, so, oh god. Anyway, and and you know it, she's trying to justify it, you know, because yeah, the critics were seeing it the same way. These critics are also like completely out of touch lately. We've been talking about this, but anyway, yeah, it's torture to sit through. Whew! And I'm, you know, I like torture. Comic books, I like mythology. I really? get into stuff. I'm open to getting into new <laughs> pause fandoms. It. Pause it. Pause so it. Pause the fact it. that pause I was it. like, make it stop. I like stuff. I get into stuff. I like comics. <laughs> I, I'm a fan. I get into stuff. I like lore. Yeah. I bet she has a, doesn't own one comic book. <laughs> no, of course not. 
God, just the desperation. Well, funnily it. enough, Nick, and this is part of the reason why she probably <laughs> sucks Marvel's dick so much. Her claim to fame is she worked for Marvel for like a hot second. And I think like the promotion department or some shit. Yeah. Like that's Ooh. where she came from. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God. Was pretty bad. Although I wanted to walk out of DC Super Pets, as I told you. Uh, and the only reason I stayed was because, you know, you know, again, you know, it's, I'm reviewing it. I'd love to be able to say, hey, it gets really good. Narrator, it does not. <laughs> and also the visuals here were pretty good. And I really like Anya Taylor-Joy's Princess Peach and Seth Rogen's Donkey Kong. So, you know, it wasn't quite as bad as Super Pets, but it was close. She likes Seth you know, Rogen, that's all bad. you need to know. Uh, but speaking of the amazing visuals, Super Mario Brothers is available in 3D. And if you like 3D and you're willing to pay a couple of extra bucks for it, you might want to consider it. Also, maybe as a safety net, because the movie's so bad, at least you'll have peak visuals. Particularly the Mario Kart sequences. When I was watching those, I was like, wow, I bet these would look pretty good in 3D. I mean, I think the movie's actually been made to be seen in 3D. I think they should be advertising that more. Uh, like the rainbow uh, road gets all yeah. swirly, and then the camera starts swirling, and you're like, oh, this is cool. And I did feel, I, like I was like, brain. oh, why aren't I watching this in 3D? <laughs> Now, as I said, I've been able to get into other mythologies, but I just couldn't get into this movie despite being a ready and willing participant. I was like, come on, Nintendo world, indoctrinate me. So I thought about it. I thought about it. I saw it last night. And I've been like, why couldn't I get into this movie? And this morning, Eureka, it clicked, and I realized the problem. Fucking uh, commercial web problem. Stupid. She's got to put one right there just to be a bitch. Ah. I know, right? The right. Super Mario Brothers movie, this she latest, got her two cents uh, this latest out of us. one. Uh, they did, of course, they did the live action one many years ago. But while this is supposed to be an origin story where Mario and Luigi do discover the Mushroom Kingdom for the very first time, I didn't even know it was called the Mushroom Kingdom. I had to look it up. It's not even made clear in the movie. But the movie is written for fans. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Only. Pause it. No. It's not even made clear in the movie. Mario gets out of a, of a of a tube, of a pipe, and hits mushrooms, and they eat lots of mushrooms. Yeah, they even make it a point because he mean, hates mushrooms. I mean, how, how and and ever ends a mushroom. All the toads have got mushrooms. How could you possibly not know? That it's called the Mushroom Kingdom. You doesn't she actually it. mention that once? Because isn't that the where he goes? What's with you guys in mushrooms or something like yeah. that? <laughs> oh my god! It's made very clear in 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 dialogue in the film. Was she not paying attention? Done. So you have to be the. She is trying to make snack. excuses to not like like this movie. Is what she's doing. Because this <laughs> idea that I don't understand the lore, I couldn't get into it. Bullshit! It's pretty fucking simple. It's a it's a Very child simple. film. How could you right. not understand the law? You touch the magic block, you get a special power. That's it. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Just how on earth? Oh goodness me! Can you imagine Grace Randolph's brain if this movie had a bigger plot? It would just melt and dissolve away, right? Because she can't get into the law. What if she had to follow a plot as well? Oh my god. Jesus, right away. Anyway, uh, 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 but 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 in somebody in the chat calls us out. She actually says, "Indoctrinate me." <sighs> yeah, well, it's that language, isn't it? It's that ideological language. Uh, right. Let's, well, let's I, keep how going. can she say there is no plot? The plot is yeah. pretty simple. She's not. Know. She's not very bright, Tom. You have Princess Peach, who's trying to save the kingdom from the impending doom of Bowser. While Mario gets and Luigi gets sucked into this world, and Luigi and him get separated, and Mario has to save his brother at the same time. How is that not a plot? I don't. Oh, yeah. It's... <laughs> oh. Honestly, don't don't ask. And I didn't even get into more of it. There's more of a plot than that. I could expand, <sighs> right? Like <laughs> that's just the basics. My, my anyway. question is: Does she really think this, or does she know what she's oh. saying is wrong? Who knows? Honestly, with this dumb... She's trying to know. justify her stupidity, Nick, is what yeah. she's doing. <laughs> That's what it seems like to me. <laughs> mm. Right, right. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Nothing is explained to the audience. Yes, it not is. Not the world, Jesus not Christ. the characters, not the circumstances, and not even really the point. 
Now, what? some of you might be like, what did I just say? I'm a fan and I just want to get to it. I mean, there's nothing to get to, but you know, a good screenwriter, you know, screenwriting, it's always been disrespected in Hollywood, but this is like, it's at its lowest point right now. Like a good screenwriter can make this fun for everyone, right? This is you like Nintendo Easter egg, the movie, the opposite of Andor. Uh -huh. This is just all Easter eggs. You just choke on them. It's all, it's too much candy. Uh, after a brief opening, which Pause is very illumination, it seems more. How do you possibly know that the it's full of Easter eggs if you don't know anything about the law. Yeah. You don't know anything about Nintendo. You contradictory dumb fuck. Just that. Sorry, I just had to say that. It doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> right, let's keep going. Uh, what's funny is she mentioned the 93 movie and then now she's going to try to say the intro is all illumination. The intro is almost verbatim from the 93 movie. Illumination <laughs> in Nintendo. You could be watching a scene from Sing or Secret Life of Pets, quite frankly. But then after that, there's like no story. Well, and what little story they do have, I found a couple of things. What One was talking confusing. About? Like, why don't any of the other humans look like Mario and his family? And why is the human world super realistic pause, and full of cartoon-looking characters? What is like, she talking about? What do you mean? Why do the why do the other humans not look like Mario? Because they're genetically the same. You dickhead, just like you don't look like me. You fucking spaz. Oh, what is she even griping about? Like we don't even see that many people. Okay, we don't even see that many people outside of the Mario family, right? <laughs> um, there's a few, but they're the all exaggerated, animated people, right? Like nobody Tom, looks like a human being. Tom, why don't you look like me, Tom? Well, I get what you're saying, Nate, but like she's talking about just the the way that they look, as far as like nobody yeah, looks even remotely like a human. The same. Like no, the no, closest, no. she literally said, "Why do the other humans not look like Super Mario and his family? Because they're family." Well, I'm just saying they're all exaggerated people. Everybody in the movie but, is. But but as far as the animation and the presentation of the characters, Mario, Luigi, all of his family members that are in, you know, the New York boroughs, right where they live, Spike, who's in the film right at the very beginning, all of them. Yeah. All of them look the same. They have the same animation style, mesh setup, the whole facial hair, hair, you know, all of that is exactly as it's supposed to be. There was only one additional human in this. It was the princess, and she was in the Mushroom Kingdom. So, it, well, there's some ancillary period. people and stuff, but it's, like they all are. The cartoon and, and she went after look she went after the writing and matthew fogel who wrote this movie also wrote minions and a whole bunch of other award-winning films not only that it was directed by hovarth who's been you know gosh one of the hottest things on the planet forever uh aaron Hav uh horvath i always mispronounce his name and you know i i'm like i'm staggered by what she's saying about this film just 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 staggered She's so monumental. Anyway, look, she's monumentally stupid, but let's yeah. uh, keep going keep with this. Going. That's weird. Uh, the animation, though, again, is stunning. And some of the backgrounds in the human world looked almost real. But again, that was so bizarre that there were cartoons running around in there. Uh, back to the story, I would also say it's a little disturbing. Because apparently in the games, Bowser, I had to look it up, Bowser is obsessed with Princess Peach. And has oh, for been fuck's sake. for a very long time. But in hey, today's wait. marketplace, post Me Too, to hear Bowser declare that he's going to ask Princess Peach to marry him, which apparently isn't a spoiler, because I looked it up and it happened. God forbid he just ask her to marry him. Yeah, post now Bowser's too, getting yeah. Me too <laughs> yeah. this, no, it's this part, it's this part, it's this part. Post Me Too, this part's the bad stuff. Quiet. Peach to marry him, which apparently isn't a spoiler because I looked it up and it happens in the games all the time. But he's like, I'm gonna ask Princess Peach to marry me, and like his little uh sycophant sorcerer is like, What if she doesn't want to? And he's like, Then I'll destroy her kingdom and kill everyone she knows. And you're like, Wow, that's stalker behavior. And I was maybe that's a villain, you dumb yeah. bitch. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, I'm sorry, but oh my god, are these people that fucking retarded? <laughs> oh, honestly. It's just clueless. Just as, so we're gonna get gonna get some of you guys involved in this just now. So I apologize for, for everybody um, for screaming there, but oh my fucking god, that's what a <laughs> villain is! Holy I know, shit! Honestly, <laughs> so, uh, he's no. not a very nice guy. Don't go see this movie. <laughs> yeah, post me too. You can't have villains. 
Yeah. Uh, Doug VA loves horror for a dollar ninety nine. Says everybody share this stream to a Twitter page. <laughs> she's already blocked me, so I can't. Uh, Miss, I've never even interacted with her, but she blocked me. Uh, Mister Reborn um, for twenty something. Uh, the HQ is she on about? It's ninety six percent on Rotten Tomatoes, mate. Honestly, less. Uh, who knows? This we, we've 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 perfectly uh, exemplified how stupid this woman actually is. Uh, Pilgrim Media, Tom, what happened today? <laughs> this. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Yeah, Valerian's um, right. Her, her her review of Darth Vader will have been like, he is so rude. <laughs> it's, someone. it's me too. Uh, Israel R for $10 says, when she states that it doesn't appeal to a broad audience, it means appealing to her view and ego. Her use of that word indoctrinate sends shivers down the spine. Honestly, yes. And thank you so much again. If you want to join in the conversation, I, I knew you guys would want to on this section because it's this is gold. and that's and that's the thing. I mean, it, 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 that language is there. It's in their minds. They can't escape it. They are all indoctrinated into this cult. Well, they they my, are monoculture. They are. Yeah, this is what, this is why I got so like passionate yeah. there at the moment because I've been screaming this for a while that this is what's wrong with the writers and it's it's being reflected here in this critic right. They don't yeah. understand the fundamentals of what makes a villain a villain and yeah. a hero a hero. They are so muddied in their morals and in their life that they don't fundamentally understand at the end of the day. That's what's scary about these folks. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. Well, no, no, you're right. Ma Magitech here for $5 says Grace Randolph indoctrinate me, baby. I just yeah. I just tweeted at Grace Randolph's on her thing uh, with a link oh. to this stream right now, oh, saying no. we are re reacting to her review of this. You're movie. gonna get blocked, mate. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, well. me harder, baby. Oh, yeah. Mr. Esquire oh. for twenty dollars says so. A creep is the bad guy. Yeah, exactly. I know, right? God forbid. Exactly. Yeah, literally. Uh, Magitech Mags five dollars says wait. So the villain is actually a villain here. Oh my god. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I, what is she expecting? Oh, look, a villain. How dare you? How dare it's you? It's just, exactly. What <laughs> Even Dennis expecting? Hopper's version was less of a villain. Oh, uh, honestly. To be honest with you. And, and, like, and, <laughs> uh, but I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay. First of all, there's low-key violence in this because it's a family film. Very low-key, yeah. Second, they don't even play Bowser off as a complete villain. They play him off as yeah. doing bad things and making bad choices. Love's but, drug. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, more or less, I'm just sorry. stupid. Yeah, Bruce, what's yeah. your point? You know, oh, other right. than you have admitted all along the way, you have no connection with any of this. You know material. what else is probably bothering her? What is everybody's number one praise about this movie, guys? What have we all f said unanimously across the board? Jack Black puts mm. in the best performance oh, in yeah. this movie, and Bowser is probably the best character at the end of the day when you think about it, because he. He is the most surprising element of the movie because you're like it's Bowser, you don't you yeah, don't expect yeah. to like him, but you end up liking yeah. what and you don't like him because he's you know what he's doing, but you like how they've done it, right? You, they are very clever in how they present his motivations. Well, oh, I forgot there is no plot. I'm sorry. There is right. a plot. Let's let's get back into it because yeah, we're sorry. barely into this. We need say, to get into it. Kind of makes this not appropriate for children, quite frankly. Oh, for Lord's and I would, sake! In fact. I, I would argue that most of the movie is about who's going to date Princess Peach. And that's yes. it. My jaw was on the floor. I'm like, and is that really what this movie is about? That is no. a really outdated story. I think fans and just movie. Hold up. It's only about that to Bowser and Bowser only. <laughs> well, a little bit of Mario, but barely. He, 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 really. Yeah, very little. There, very little. They don't, they hardly touch on that. It's about Til a love. And they tease Bowser. it at the end. Yeah, exactly. and I'm like, I'm like, chick, you're. She does not get it. And that's the biggest problem I think here. She's she's really being uh, disingenuous in in oh, her analysis of this. I don't you see know? her getting upset about Princess Peach belittling Mario about his diminutive size. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. That wasn't it. Yeah, 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 she is. She is. She is very. She's always been hypocritical. I mean, you just watch her, and she's always been wrong. I mean, there's there are a few times she's been she's been correct on things. But what I loved at the beginning of this, and I'll just I'll just add to this pile, and then I, I'm sure we can continue on. But um, her box office prediction that the film would be over by Friday. I know. Oh my god! What an idiot! 
<laughs> it won't almost, reach a billion dollars. It won't reach. We're a almost dollars. halfway through this, uh, and and, oh. and and I I, I want to say, Mister Esquire, for the, the for to respond real quick. Yes, the creep is the bad guy. The creep is yeah. the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Yeah. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, you know what? Uh, the next, in the next one, they need to show him sniffing people's hair. That's oh shit! The goers yeah. in general, and everybody associated with this film deserve more. And it's a shame because Jack Black does a fantastic job as Bowser. You can't even recognize that it's Jack Black's voice. Then Bowser sings and you're like, oh yeah, he's voiced by Jack Black. And you can't, you still can't tell that it's Jack Black. And the, I think that the talent is definitely here. It's just, it's Whoa. really just the script. Wait so a minute. Jack Can you Black re was fantastic. rewind what you just said? Uh, also, in an effort to move wait, away wait, from rewind doing what you just said. Uh, also, you in an effort, you I can't think tell. The talent is definitely here. It's just, it's really just the script. Just pause it. You what, can't what you tell that it's Jack Black, and then he sings, and then you're like, and then you oh, can't it's tell, definitely but you can't Jack tell. Black. But even then, you can, you know, you can't. Yeah. You know, like, what the hell I are you? Did you think about what you just said before you said it? No, of course not. The, the brain the brain never engages a single syllable of what she utters. It's you can nice. tell it's Jack Black, but it's probably one of his best performances <laughs> ever. But she just she contradicts herself twice in the same like like ten seconds of dialogue. No, honestly. So so Jack Black had one of his best performances ever this week, and one of his worst performances. Oh yeah, yeah we're less, yeah. Let's not, we're, uh, let's we're, not even we're not gonna get into yeah. that. But just saying, just saying. <sighs> yeah. Right, let's yeah, let's keep go going. Right so he, Jack Black was fantastic. Uh, also, in an effort to move away from doing, speaking of uh, disturbing, I would also classify this movie as a little offensive, because instead of doing the Italian accents, ironically, because they were worried about being offensive. Instead, they decided to give everyone a variation of a New York accent, which again, I found, I found kind of offensive. It's like oh everyone's either in Goodfellas gosh. or a Woody Allen movie. And, <laughs> so and not offensive. just in the New York scenes, by the way. Mario and Luigi live in New York City. But you're like, when you get to the Mushroom Kingdom, uh, Donkey Kong Land is the same way. And so you're just kind of like, is that? Okay, what? hold up. It's funny she mentions that, but she doesn't mention the fact that they're basically uh, all voiced by Jewish people. <laughs> but anyway. Make that choice. Like, why do you think that's somehow not offensive and the Italian thing would be? It's just crazy. Uh, Hurry, the call the sensitive really police. Heavily on I know, right? Songs. Like, we stop and think about it too much. Yeah. Hi, oh, for fuck's sake. Someone. Grace. Oh, Jesus. Music, music, I was talking music. about some lessons. And she doesn't even put in the skippable ads. And I... Dumbass. YouTube Premium, <clears throat> but that's the thing, right? Like she's talking about it being offensive. I mean, how is it remotely offensive? How? how? It's offensive it's because not. they do a, a, a Brooklyn accent. It's that's what it is, isn't it? Oh. Um, and it sometimes it gets your blood pumping. It's not a bad strategy, but here it's very uh, poorly executed. Like everything, just when you're like, okay, now we're cooking, they it peters out, and they're like, okay, we're done, and you're like, oh, we didn't, you promised me a fun jam. Like when they start to make the Mario karts and, uh, and you know, and one of the Kongs is like puts on his shades and he's like, what do you want me to do for you? But he just says it with a nod and you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. And it seems like it's going to be awesome. The music starts, they turn up the volume and then they're done. And I was like, I guess if you've ever built your own Mario kart, you'd be like, oh, cool. It's just like the game. But I, as someone who has never built a Mario kart, I still have not had the pleasure of the experience. Uh, I, oh my I god, really can like you say Anya that Taylor any more George. annoying? She is always a delight as an uh, actress on screen, but it turns out she has a great voice for animation as well. And she's a great sport. She's Look the one she that came the off the most generic to me. Like, anybody could have voiced her at this point. Like, I did not... Oh, I thought she did well. She, she did fine, good. right? Like, I didn't notice it was anybody famous. Like, that's the one that didn't bother me, because I've seen mm -hmm. her in a ton of movies, but her voice didn't stand out to me as anything out of the ordinary. I think she did a pretty good job. Oh, yeah, fine. she did. Who, who is that? Who does the voice for her? And, it's Anna Anna Taylor, Taylor Joy. Joy. Oh. Yeah. Um, just a few super chats, real quick. So, if you want to support, you want to chime in on this nonsense of a bloody segment. Super chats. The Tom working for two dollars says, "Let's nerf villains like uh, Caligula, 
Pol Pot. Oh, oh no, it's not working. Oh. Honestly. <laughs> you know, Mussolini, I want to see her. He was Italian, right? You know what's <laughs> funny, though? She can't, can't have any villains these days. <laughs> she says that she doesn't understand all the motivations and all this shit. I want to see her explain to me the motivations of Baron Zevon. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me Mecca J for five dollars says, "Grace is an example of letting the wokeness dictate her critiques on any piece of media and make herself look like a complete fool." That absolutely. I think the more 100%. I'm listening to this, I think it's just it's not the movie she wanted. That's really what it is. Exactly. One hundred percent. The thing is, is that like, I oh, just, you... I'm, I'm almost left speechless at the stupidity here. I really am. It she has she has she has terrible takes i mean I oh, they're, just, they're the worst they're yeah the absolute worst tommy reviews in other news water is wet grace shocked face <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much pretty much yes. magistrate mags for five dollars says i'm a woman and a blonde i swear we aren't all like this uh, we know mags. being disingenuous uh for a bad take uh and a simp um said i was bullying uh yeah <laughs> honestly this no, no, oh, like because we we've done like a video. On you Grace bully, before. Mags. Mags is no, such we, a bully. We we've done a video on Grace before, and I had so many shitty comments from her dick sucking simps that drop by her <laughs> channel. Fuck right off! I hate them so. Well, much. Mags is on. They are as stupid. They are as stupid as she is. And she is one of the most sweetest, nicest people nice I've thing. ever met. Like, <sighs> yeah, yeah, a bully. Right. She's a Mags. bully. <laughs> Stop Mags. bullying people. Come on. Mags now. is a super bully. <laughs> super Ridiculous. bully. Right. we got a few more. Let's keep going. We're almost there. So yeah, for the movie. Princess Pe a variation on Princess Peach's uh, Mario Kart outfit. I thought that was great. I am a little tired, though, of girl power for the sake of girl power characters. Like, if you're not going to fully develop them, I, I just get frustrated because I know certain groups are going to complain. Um, <laughs> and, you know... <laughs> What certain you groups is that? have justification for things. It's like if you're not going to do it right, don't do it. Sorry, again, pause. Sorry, all girl pause. Power. Go back by ten seconds. I think she just lost her own fucking no, no, train you, of you, thought you, there. You, you, you could <laughs> literally just to go back five seconds. You just use the arrows, right? Oh. The arrows on the keyboard. There so right. just just play now and put. If you're not going to fully develop them, I I just get frustrated because I know certain groups are going to complain. Um. And you know, groups, right? it's, you should have justification for things. Pause it's it. like if you're not going to do it right, don't do it. And, didn't didn't you didn't you fuck? You should have justifications for things. Didn't you fucking love Ray from <laughs> from the new Star Wars <laughs> movies? What you mean? Yeah. Justifications <laughs> for things. Girl power for girl power's sake. Fuck off, Grace. <laughs> yes. You absolute butthole. What are you talking about? Oh my god. Uh, I don't even know what she's saying because, like, throughout the film, I mean, uh, we see Princess. She's she's got to uh, make all these decisions. She has to execute these decisions. She has to live with the consequences one way or the other with these decisions. Oh, mate! <laughs> I I'm not understanding where the fuck she's coming from. I I don't uh, know, I don't even, I don't know if she even understand that she I don't think she knew what she said there I think that <laughs> just, I think she <laughs> lost herself in her own <laughs> argument there she, yeah she drifted <laughs> off to what she was saying and then woke up and was like oh shit what did I just say I've got we got God I've girl power for girl power's sake it has to be fully oh. developed yeah all right fuck off well we'll remember this one Grace. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> what about the fact that she was just uh, made a princess because she was a girl? <laughs> like yeah. that's pretty much the reason. If, if this thing does a billion dollars, I wonder if she will have any response to that at <sighs> all, or if she's gonna just sweep oh. it under the rug and be like, "Oh, she'll no sweep comment." Oh, of course. I'm I'm, right. I'm going to play a clip when this thing hits a billion. I'm going to play a clip of her saying her ridiculousness about the box office. I may make an entire video of that out of, out of that. I think everybody's channel is going to make a video out of uh, dumb things. Grace says, "Yeah, you're right. Uh, keep keep uh, keep playing now." Hold on. And again, she's all girl power, but yet the movie is just about who she's going to date. She's a princess in name she's only. Not. I didn't see what? her make any rules or or or. or Control the rules. kingdom or anything. What? You know? She's the what? She she literally says evacuate the kingdom. They evacuate. Yeah. 
She literally says, "We're going to go do this," so they go do this. Uh, yeah, it's not all. It's not all about who she's going to date. You absolute spaz. It's about her protecting her kingdom. Oh my god, this is just revenge for us bitching about all their fucking woke bullshit. That's and, all and this says, is. She says we we didn't see her make any rules. Yes, we did. She literally controlled her kingdom. We saw her tell. Her she even dictates whether or not Mario gets to go. Yes. <sighs> Or Toad, for that matter. Well, Toad just yeah. kind of like, yeah, he just kind of. It's just, it's, it's this. This, does, this but, yeah. makes no sense. She's speaking nonsense. She right, keep keep playing. She just kind of went on a date with Mario, and Bowser was really jealous about it. And you're like, is this really what this movie is about? When was this supposed uh, to date? Keegan Michael Key's voice is also unrecognizable as Toad, which is a shame. I love Keegan Michael Key. Uh, but Toad is adorable, and he's uh, actually he a good. I didn't ad. even know he was the one who did the voice, so that's fine by me. He did fine. Yeah, that's good. That's what for I wanted, his new yeah. restaurant at Universal Studios. In fact, I wish he'd done more cooking. I was like, oh, that's why he has a restaurant. To rest. be honest, you know what was funny is I kept thinking Charlie Day did his voice too in the movie. Mm. I'm like, wait a minute here. Charlie Day is, was very talented. I mean, he, he was, was fine really, as Luigi. Yeah, yeah he, he was, was pretty much Luigi. pitch perfect. Mm. But anyway. That's great. That's awesome. What are you making? Uh, there was one uh, quick moment where. Uh, oh, I. Uh, uh, oh, wait. I, I can't hit do a pause. spoiler review for this hit, movie hit pause, because I still can't really tell or you what happened. Space there. Thank you. All right. So when you when when she was she just went on a little diatribe about him cooking in this restaurant and everything else. That's all Hollywood. She's talking to Hollywood. She's not mm. talking to an audience. She's talking to Hollywood. You know, it, it, because like you know, what's the latest restaurant? What's the latest thing? Who's doing this? Who's doing that? Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. the talk of the it's town. The next, it's the next cool thing. That's all it yeah, is. Exactly. It's, and I'm part of the cool thing. Uh, please, please, right? Uh, press. We are all the neat part. Um, but there was like one distraction, and I felt like they didn't even do that right. I was like, ah, oh, tell them that there's good food back there, Mario. Why do you, you know, be like, hey, he's cooking up something back there? I was like, yeah, that's clearly yeah. the move. Mm -hmm. All right, so speaking of Mario, how's Chris Pratt? Everybody wants to know, how's Chris Pratt? Well, he's doing a thick New York accent, so he doesn't sound too much like Chris Pratt. I mean, occasionally you're like, oh, there he is. And Chris Pratt, by the way, outside of the controversy that surrounds him, he's a very good actor, a very likable actor. What controversy other than the bullshit y'all create in your minds, but anyway. He does a good job in that regard with, you know, the emotion and all that stuff. You know, he certainly is able to deliver in that capacity. But again, the script is so awful. Mario and Luigi's relationship just seems really forced. It's like screenwriter Matthew Fogel Pause it. never work again. Mm. Saw Their brothers. Shut Fuck up their brothers. We literally see a flashback to Mario protecting him. Mario protects him in modern day. It's there. He says, Oh, together, you know, we're always safe. We'll be yeah, blah, blah, blah. It, it's developed. It's fine. They're brothers. We don't need to know anymore. It like, is one of there. the consistent things with the Mario brothers, right? Mario's yes. always been the bigger brother. Oh, my God. This woman it, is she, so She wasn't watching stupid. the movie. She was talking to somebody during the movie. There's no way you she can do this much wrong. Doing the whole thing. Yeah. It's pretty clear the love that Mario has for Luigi and vice versa yeah. in the movie. Like, because you even see that in the family scenes. Like, they're kind of not, not the outcasts per se, but, you know, like they keep dumping on Mario and they, they keep blaming him for dragging Luigi down with him kind yeah. of thing. But, but it, I, she not, she, there's no way she watched the same movie we did. There's no way she even watched the movie. She understands no, the, right. the beats, but they're, they're ah, flip, man. She wasn't paying attention. No, I don't, I don't even think, think she understands the beats, dude. <laughs> I think she only uh, understands what she read on Wikipedia. Bro, he's, he's done a couple of stuff for Illumination. That's about it. A couple of uh, It's stuff. like he saw Frozen and decided to do the stuff. male version of Elsa and Anna. But none of the work to make it work. And since they insisted on putting Mario in the real world, so to speak... Why do he and Luigi wear those funny outfits and gloves? I was like, you guys look ridiculous. What was that? I mean, none of it made sense. None they of the, none of actually Chris, explain that stop. in the movie. They talk Come. about it in the, in the film. It's literally said that at the dinner table, for fuck's sake. Within the first, like, 15 minutes, yeah. <sighs> this woman, this just ladies and gents, this woman did not watch the movie or pay attention remotely. Right? She was too busy stuffing her face full of the snacks. And let's be real, mom. part of that's part of the joke, right? Like, they're making fun of these things. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. She's she, totally unaware of this shit. I, uh, 
she took the talking points, Tom. She took the talking points and wrote a review based on talking points and nothing else. Yeah. Tom, you got Tom, you gotta to learn to press the space bar, mate. Not use the mouse. I... Right. The movie made sense, so it was hard for me to get into any of it. Speaking of Mario and Luigi though, Charles Martinet, he had a nice cameo. He is the OG and current voice of Mario and Luigi in the games, and a lot of fans were disappointed he's not voicing them here. Uh, but even I was like, oh, that's that Char that's Charles Martinet. That's awesome. And I think it was a very nice that? thing to do for him. He showed up, I think, twice. He showed up like twice. Very, Somebody very briefly. But it was cute. Even the action sequences aren't that exciting. There's like no suspense. It's just like, oh, hey, look, it's like the game. But you never really feel like you're running well, any of the gauntlets yourself. You still look like you're. You, you just complained that it was too mature for kids because of Bowser. <laughs> A Me Too movement, and now you're saying the action sequences. There's not enough suspense. It's just like the games. Honestly, I would say the, the Luigi point. sequence is probably the scariest sequence in the movie. Yes, with with the zombie yeah. poopas and shit. Yeah, like that's the only need... scene I would warn parents about for like younger, younger, younger and kids. It, and it, and, yeah, and well, that's why it's PG. And it's, yeah. and it's played off with humor so that most of them can get through it. Well, so, that last yeah. shot is pretty. Like that even made me jump. <laughs> yeah. With because the no face she, dudes, yeah. I, 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 nobody convinced me that she watched this film. Now, hey, it legitimately sounds like she didn't watch the film. Actually. No, I don't think she. Anyway, that's uh, watching yeah. the game screen instead of being put into the action. That's the whole benefit of making it a movie. And then, what could Mar uh, Mario turn into a cat? This is the best. I part. guess, uh, like, if you're into fur furries, that works, and I, maybe that'll play really well in Asian markets. I know they love cats over there, like love cats. But I just felt it robbed Mario. Oh, Lord. Well, well, if that, so, so you, you, you're complaining about offensive stereotypical accents, and now you're saying, well, they love cats in Asia, so this would be this would be great in Asia. Are you fucking for real, you hypocrite? <sighs> Tanuki Mario and shit have been around since probably before she was fucking born. What the fuck, lady? Jesus Christ! I am like. Let's get us some super chats real quick. I again, if you want to chime in, get your comments in. Super chats, Magitech Mags for five dollars has a good reference as to why critics are out of touch with the audience. Compare Netflix Cooties Rotten Tomato score, avoiding full name, to Mario Rotten Tomato current score. Yeah, so cute cuties basically. Yeah, um, Jared Jarrett Dotio for five dollars says, I swear her reviews are scripted. And she gets off into weird tangents that contradicts her script. I yeah, think you're that's... right. I think yeah, you're 100% yeah, you are, correct. There, you are you are 100 correct there. Yes. Uh, wait till you get to plumber's outfits. Take she does. Yeah. So we've done that. one. sorry. Oh, that. For Christ's sake, you don't know what these. overalls are. But they like, I just explained it. They explain it in the movie. Well, the overalls uh, aren't the real... problem either. I know. Well, they even say about the gloves. They're like, well, they, we've got to have a. It's like a trademark, you know. They, they comment on our fucking uh, and, Israel R for five dollars says justification to whom does creativity need justification for certain groups now? This person's review is killing brain cells with the wokeness. But they say, you know, woke woke mind rot. I mean, this is it. In, yeah, this is full, it, and she's suffering from it. Full I mean, display. Uh, Madge Tech Max for five dollars says, Oh my god, a positive brother family interaction. How dare you? Yes. Pretty much. Well, even Pretty him much. and Kong like relate over a family situation, right? Like, I mean, <sighs> yes, yes, yeah, about their dads, yeah, yeah. Tom working for two dollars says Bob Hoskins, not Italian or New Yorker, and he That's was right. the best Mario He's ever, great, right? Yeah. Uh, Magic Tech Mags five dollars says, "Oh my actor. god." Uh, a video game movie that's like a video game. How dare you? I know, right? How dare uh, you? You know what? I, I, I didn't even say that. That's one thing I will give this movie. This is one of the first video game movies other than Sonic that I've seen that didn't make me want to pick up a controller and just play a game instead. Like, yeah, and that's yeah. what I usually hate about video game movies. I'm like, why am I watching what feels like a bunch of cut scenes when I could just go play a game? This, 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 made, enough, this made me want to play it because I remember how fun it was. Yes, not, it had the fun that, of the game, not the... yeah. yeah. It made it made me want to get involved again, not because I wasn't enjoying the film, but because I wanted to enjoy that feeling again that I was getting from the film, but also with myself playing it. Like that, that's what it made me want to get Mario Kart. That honestly, legit did. Uh, Olaf Vanessa's Tom, breathe in, breathe out, have a beer. Yeah, just not a Bud Light. <laughs> oh dear, yeah, no, no Bud Lights. <laughs> uh, we've also got some membership 
uh, we've got a membership. Um, Finbar White has been a member for 26 months, support level one. So thank you so much. Become a member or a patron, guys. Donovan Bradford has been a member at support level one for 22 months and says, well, at least she outed herself as a racist. So all Asians like furries wholesale rude. Yeah, man. Honestly. Uh, absolutely. On yeah, you're completely right. Uh, she you, you can't sit there and be like, well, you know, the New York accent's uh, offensive. Oh, yeah, but all Asians are just furries. They love cats. <laughs> and that's that a, is just stupid shit <laughs> she's ever said. Ignorant bitch. Isn't, Unbelievable. Isn't, isn't Grace a New Yorker? Yeah, that's why she thought it was yeah. offensive. Isn't it? Right, let's let's uh, play it again. Let's keep going. Of a lot of his personal dignity. I was like, don't over. do that to Mario. Where's Mario's agent? Uh, there are also two end credit <laughs> scenes, but there there is oh, for oh, fuck's sake! God. Okay, so I'm going to talk over this. I'm going to talk over this. Yeah, this, I was going to say, this is a scene Mar from a show. You don't want that. I'll reshoot yeah, Mario, Mario actually was Catsuit Mario in Mario World 3D. Uh, Super Mario He's 3D. been Tanuki and Catsuit Tanuki Mario and Frog Suit Mario, Mario like, and Jesus yeah. freaking Christ. I mean, it's like, this is not new stuff. This shows your I apologize of this IP. for swearing. I just, I'm yeah. so pissed. And I don't even like Mario. I like, I like Mario. I don't love Mario. But she's making me like <laughs> defend the hell out of this movie. She is. That's what it is. All right, we are we back now with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid. Oops. The second one tries to set up a, a potential sequel. They're like, oh, if we make another one of these, this character's gonna show up. Get excited! But that character kind of showed up earlier in the film in the background no, in a way, like at least a variation of them. I spotted him. I spotted him. <laughs> And I know the thing. Scene is so Good quick. for you, Grace. You get us. I'm just so so excited about that character. Just like the mere teaser mention or like blip of him is enough. So yeah, Pause this it. is a mess. There's no story. Nothing. Was it? Scroll back. Do the do the arrow keys. Ten seconds. And again, play it now. So so excited about that character. Just like the mere teaser mention or like blip of him is enough. So yeah, this and is like, did mess. You, did you do There's two? no did you do story. Nothing is explained to new three times. Newbies like when they show up, get excited. But that character kind of showed up. We make okay. another one of these. This character's gonna show up, get excited. But that character kind of showed up earlier in the film in the background, in a way, like at least a variation of them. I spotted him. I spotted him. And this end credit scene is so quick that it's hard to get super excited unless you're just so, so excited about that. Everyone will be excited to see Yoshi. Yes. Everyone, this goes to show monumental. Oh, spoilers, but yeah. Um, it doesn't matter, man. Like, you can, you, you, the, the, the Yoshis are in the trailer. This is not a big spoiler. There's a tease for Yoshi. That's it, right? And she's like, yeah. oh, well, you know, guys, J J Yoshi's so unimportant. No one cares about Yoshi. This tiny little, like, oh, uh, Yoshi, the tiny little thing. No one's going to be excited. See how smug she is about this? She's so cocksure and smug. She's like, yeah, no one really cares about Yoshi. Yeah, no, no one's gonna, no one's gonna get excited about this tiny little blip. Yes, they are. It's, like, it's, absolutely, it's, of it's, course it's, they are. That's why Nintendo it, made a game on Yoshi. Yeah, yes, multiple. It's, it's incredibly. Yes. Here's, here's a fact. Incredibly Yoshi popular. was so instantly, instantly popular that yes. when they were in the midst of making the '93 film. They put him in at the last minute. That's why he's only in the movie for like two or three shots. I just it just blows my mind how ignorant she is the material so she's talking about. Um, she's so, she's so clueless. sure about it as well. Uh, anyway, let's, I would uh, argue that Yoshi is probably the most popular of all the Mario characters. To be honest yeah, with he you, is. yeah, one of yeah, outside of Mario, yeah. I even, maybe he may even be more popular than Mario. No, I don't know. I'd have to go see the toys, how they sell. All right. Yeah. Sp space yeah. button, Tom. Space button. A character, just like the mere tease or mention or like blip of him is enough. So yeah, this is a mess. There's no story. Nothing is explained to newbies like myself. It's kind of offensive. And none of the animation styles fit together because I guess maybe kind they're different offensive. games. I mean, I guess it looks this way in Mario Kart, right? But from a story perspective, it just did not work for me. I have never seen an Illumination misfire this bad. In fact, I don't think they've ever <laughs> misfired. This is not only the worst movie they've ever made, but in my opinion, the only bad movie they've ever made. And maybe what's different here, it's because Nintendo was so involved 
creatively, as you can see from the credits when you watch the movie. I guess it doesn't God work forbid. out like The Last of Us. This was Oh, so that's my review of Super Mario oh, Brothers. Oh, that's if right. If you aren't until a next fan of the games, two. you've been warned. But maybe you need yeah. to go with somebody who is a Nintendo fan. It's going to be rough for you. I pity you. But just remember what good friend I you're being. I pity you. And maybe before the movie starts, ask your Nintendo fan friend to explain some of this stuff to you, which might make oh, it a little less painful. Grace, if you need somebody you. to explain this shit to you, then I have... You got bigger problems in the world, honey. You got much woman, bigger problems in the world, honey. It's so monumentally stupid. It's not even funny. I can't, like, I literally, I cannot. So we got some super chats real quick. Hold on. Uh, Magistech Max for $5 says, Mario has been in different power-up suits since forever. The cat suit uh, one was the take I called a disingenuous one. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, oh, my God. It gets me so, I was just, I could, words. I can't even put it into words. Tom reviews, wait till she sees the upcoming Zelda movie. <laughs> the, the, the thing is, she's talking about, yo, you're completely right. She's talking about at the end, right? She's talking about at the end how the animation styles are so different. They don't fit together. Yes, they do. There's nothing actually different about the animation in this movie. I don't know what she's referring to. I actually don't under... Did you see any weird animation that didn't align with one another? It all was the same animation style, wasn't it? Yeah. What yeah. is she talking about? I don't know. I don't know. It's almost like they allowed them to grab the meshes from like some of the games to like yeah. use the characters, right? <sighs> so I, I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, this is this is this is two. This is a love of two hundred and fifty animators over the course of two and a half years to make this film mm. come to life, right? Zelda is already on the way, and and I agree. Whoever wrote that in the comments, if when Zelda shows up. She gonna uh, lose her stuff because I mean that that literally yeah. is Link rescuing Zelda. That's what those games are. Well, uh, uh, hold that thought. So, yeah. Magic Max for five dollars says, "I love Yoshi. Whatever the Mario Kart game, I played him all the time. From me as a Southerner to Grace, bless her heart." Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, honestly, the fact that she was so we sort of covered this already, but the fact that she was so smug about it as well is just uh, so irritating. Uh, but it's the fact she's also so smug. She's like. This is a misfire. This is the only misfire by Illumination. And you know what the difference is? Nintendo were involved. This is going to absolutely clean up. And you know why? It's because Nintendo are involved. <laughs> I mean, that's literally the reason why. Because it's you just, you you are, oh, God. You know, <laughs> she, she is complaining because basically the creator of Mario was in every single aspect of development of this, which makes She's perfect sense. Stupid. Yeah. Oh, there. She could not be more wrong. If, 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 I mean, it's like she's being intentionally dense. Yeah. I just, I, I don't even get it. I, I just, um, uh, honestly, Shigeru, Shigeru um, Miyamoto, the guy that the guy that basically is, an, you know, Mario. I mean, he is Mario's keeper. Um, mm. He he's got PGA credit in this. He is he is the producer of this film, Good. you know, and he will be for everything coming out of Nintendo. I fully if I fully expect. I think Comcast and Universal are stuck with this dude until he dies. And then the next person that comes in is going to be equally based because there is no way. Nintendo is going to let their legacy. No, they won't. End. They won't. And it's the same with uh, Toho and Legendary. So yeah. Toho is, uh, it, they approve everything. They sign off on everything. And that's rightfully so. This is the way they, they, they look, honestly, if, if, if Capcom had made that deal with Constantin films, we probably would have had better Resident Evil stuff moving forwards as well. True. So do you know what I mean? Like, let's get real. Eh? People are like, well, you know, they're too involved. Yeah, they should be. It should, should be involved because they absolutely because, should be involved because you want the thing you're consuming to be tonally the same across the board. And who knows that tone better than the person that's yeah. been creating it forever? <laughs> people that made it and made it popular. Yeah. <laughs> what are you Sorry. talking about? These people are so stupid. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and goodness it, me. I mean, if Grace makes it to Nintendo land or whatever in California, yeah, she's going to be disappointed because yeah. all these things are going to be there. Oh man, gotta. She did not watch. She didn't watch the same film I did. She. I don't think she. No, I'm really. Uh, yeah, I. Yeah, I don't really understand.